Have you ever wondered how a simple yet crucial element like water can spark disputes between nations? Water, the lifeblood of our planet, is a resource we often take for granted. Yet, its scarcity can ignite conflicts, even among the most peaceful nations. Water disputes aren't just a local issue, they're a global concern, affecting billions. One such example is the tension between India and Pakistan, where the distribution of this invaluable resource has been a point of contention for decades. Today, we delve into the water disputes between India and Pakistan, a contentious issue that has been ongoing for decades. The roots of the water disputes between India and Pakistan trace back to the partition in 1947. As the two nations separated, sharing the waters of the Indus River system became a point of contention. The river system, originating in Tibet, flows across the Indian subcontinent, forming a lifeline for millions of people. In the early years after partition, both countries had unrestricted use of the water. However, as tensions rose, the need for a formal agreement became clear. This led to the signing of the Indus Water Treaty in 1960, brokered by the World Bank. The treaty allocated the three eastern rivers, the Bas, Ravi, and Sutlej, to India, and the three western rivers, the Indus, Jhelum, and Chenab, to Pakistan. Fast forward to 2007, the construction of Baglahar Dam by India on the Chenab River stirred up controversy. Pakistan claimed that it violated the Indus Water Treaty, while India argued it was within its rights. This sparked a new phase in the water disputes. In recent years, the issue has become even more complex. With rapid climate change and population growth, water scarcity is a growing concern. Both countries face the challenge of managing their resources while navigating the political and geographical complexities of the region. The disputes thus have evolved over time, transforming into a complex issue intertwined with politics, geography, and climate change. So, what are the main points that we have discussed today about the water disputes between India and Pakistan? Well, we began by emphasizing the critical role of water, a life-sustaining resource. Without it, societies cannot thrive, economies cannot function, and ecosystems cannot flourish. It's this vital importance that lies at the heart of the disputes between India and Pakistan. Next, we journeyed through the timeline of these disputes, tracing them back to their inception in the mid-20th century. We saw how the initial agreements, designed to ensure fair water distribution, have been tested and strained over the decades. We delved into how these disputes have evolved, shaped by changing political landscapes, population growth, and the increasing pressures of climate change. We've seen how disagreements over dam constructions, water sharing, and river management have intensified, highlighting the complexity of these issues. The water disputes between India and Pakistan serve as a reminder of the pressing need for effective water management and diplomacy. Water, the life-giving resource, can indeed become a bone of contention when not managed properly. It's crucial we champion cooperation, fostering peaceful resolutions to water disputes globally, not solely between India and Pakistan. Remember, every drop counts. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious.